Prince Angelinos gather to pay their own respects. Whenever Princess Diana came to L.A., she outshone even the most glamorous stars. And on Saturday, perhaps the only other person on the planet who is as famous made a rare public appearance. In honor of my friend who is no longer here, thank you. I love her. Razzi hunted celebrities in the world is adding his voice to the battle against the tabloids today. Michael Jackson says he was so devastated by the death of Princess Diana that he fell back in grief and cried when he got the news. Tonight, he opens up to Barbara Walters and 2020 about his own experiences with stalking photographers. Michael Jackson has grown up in the spotlight and has been one of the paparazzi's prized targets. In an interview with Barbara Walters, he speaks out about his life under the microscope, his grief over Princess Diana's death, and his feelings towards the tabloids. There are those who would say that you add to the attention. The way you dress, the way you look, it invites attention. You don't think that calls the paparazzi to you? No, I don't. Well, the masks, the, the mysterious behavior. There's, no, there's no mysterious behavior. Just leave me alone. In 1987, Jackson fought back with his best tool, a song, written expressly for the press that hounded him. Ten years later, he contends nothing has changed. There's a time when I give a concert. I like to have as many people who want to come can come and enjoy the show. And there's a time where you want to, you like to be in private when you put on your pajamas, go to sleep, <laughs> cut off the light, ding, and lay down. That's your private space. Jackson tells Walters he's been running his whole life, hiding, trying to give photographers the slip, and the news of Diana's death painfully reminded him of his own life and of the cruelty he has suffered at the hands of the tabloids. And said, quote, you should not say he's an animal. You should not say he's Jacko. I'm not Jacko, I'm Jackson. I have a heart and I have feelings. And I feel that when you do that to me, it's not nice. Don't do it, I'm not a wacko. Jackson confesses he was forced to sell his baby's photos to the tabloids to avoid being stalked by photographers. And he says he has tried to create the privacy he is unable to attain. You go in the park, I can't go in the park, you know. So I create my own park in Neverland, my own water space, my movie theater, my theme park, that's all for me to enjoy, to be private. You can see the full Michael Jackson interview tonight on ABC's 2020.